here is um, some kind of citrus that grew by itself. I just liked it right here and it grew and it grew and it grew and this should be the year when we get some fruit from this tree even though it's right on the shade of this oak look at that we got so many nopales this year just so many really like eating that and I even can a whole bunch of them so like right now it's not in season except for this crazy nopal look at that trying to grow some babies look at all those babies growing which are gonna get of course killed by the frost I don't know what's wrong with this nopal some people like that stuff this right here is a lemon that I planted many many moons ago and the darn thing won't grow. This is terrible soil right here. Uh, this right here, um, savila, the savila plant, uh, aloe vera, yeah. That thing is so huge. It's the biggest plant, the biggest aloe vera plant I have ever seen. Uh, lucky I still have some. I probably should take it out before the cold kills it. This one right here is a couple of uh dates date palm trees and we have more over there towards the street this is my mother's mess right here just hundreds of plants look at the roots on this look at the roots on those desert roses huge anyway coming this way i'm scared uh, this is a bombax tree. In the last freeze, I took it out of the ground. I protected it inside. And then about a month later, I put it back in the ground. And now there is no way I'm going to take you out. You defend yourself. Whatever happens to you happens. I hope you survive, my beautiful bombax. This is just beautiful. The flowers are amazing. But I do not have the strength to help you. So coming up this way, oh my banana trees, which I was praying it didn't get a banana flower because I knew it was going to get killed. But now I have no banana flower and no nothing. What the hell happened here? Oh yeah, this, oh, one of my bananas died. What the fuck? Look at that! Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, son of a bitches. Who did it? That was the mother plant. I still got two of the babies here. Which are probably gonna die tomorrow night. Hmm. Oh, well. I think I should take this one out. I'm gonna take this little pup. And if the rest of it survive, good. If not, then at least I got a pop. I already have three of those pops in a in um, pot. So that's a good thing. But I can use another one. That one looks really healthy, really nice. This right here is another fig. And this one is a white fig. And it's just, oh, the fruit is amazing. This one right here is a coconut. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. You look so pretty. And you're going to die unless I help you. So I got to take out these two coconuts. And here's a papaya. That's going to be dead. Dead, 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 dead. This one too. Another little papaya. About three foot tall. And I got a couple of figs in there. And, oh, what is this thing called? I forget. It's a very pretty plant. What is this? I forget. A copper, copper something. Oh. And another, mm, some kind of cherry something. I don't know. More palm trees. Ooh, that's a chaya. 
this big thing that's a shaya it's a different variety and this oh a pomegranate that i never got around to um to planting that's messed up there's another fig i never got around to planting and all these bananas that i never got around to planting i think i'm gonna leave them right there uh do not have the strength to move them anywhere i don't think i do anyway this is the area in the back of the house there's the chicken coops and the other little chicken coop so i hope you know most of it survives whatever survives survives if not the only thing i'm gonna take is my two coconuts and that little pup and oh here's a little mango they're probably gonna be destroyed oh i'm sorry you look like uh i can take you out i don't know i want to be taking stuff out